So I'm at an amazing place. It's called the Fountains of Petrification. And they make statues and sculptures and all sorts of things from a water that comes out of a volcano in the middle of France that actually sets into a marble, basically, um, as it falls over things that they put in front of the water. And it's been here since 1751. And I'll show you what it's called in French. And it's hard to believe it's true, but they put moulds down and the water trickles over it. And in about a year, the mould is full of calcium. I mean, marble. And this is what they do. And it's really fascinating and amazing. So let me introduce you to Eric Papon, who's the boss here. Bonjour, Monsieur Papon. Bonjour. And here we go, into the caves. Oh, dear. It's cold in here. Oh, wow. I've already got a feeling of oh, wowness. Oh, that green would be copper, I would have thought. Maybe not, maybe algae, who knows? <laughs> it's wet in here. Oh. Wow. It's hot. It's hot. And there is a gas going out. Look at that. Look at this the bulbs there and the gas going out. Oh gas, wow. What? So this water comes out of the volcano and it's so full of minerals, as soon as it starts to cool down, they start to precipitate and cover things and make stalactites and stalagmites. And I'm thinking that red is gonna be iron. And there's more of that green, which I guess is copper. There's volcanoes here. This is the central massif with the famous volcanoes like one called Le Puy. And obviously volcano is really hot and the water's hot, so it dissolves minerals. But when it comes out, and cools down, those minerals come out from being dissolved and fall into rock. And this is what these guys do, make rock. This is for filtration water because it, ah. it's uh, orange, it has to be not orange. So this wooden uh, chips, here is 25 meter of this can canal. <laughs> and with this uh, wooden chip which is making a filtration of the water yep. so it will be not yellow like we see now takes but out, it's takes out various other minerals yeah. yes so they make molds which the water runs through and where the marble the calcium actually precipitates and then builds up over days weeks months a slab with a sculpture in it And this is sculpture has been cut out of the moulds. And you can see there's a religious one made in a mould from a slab. So there we have in the middle a piece of wood. And there on the left we have a mould of the piece of wood. And on the right a marble version of the piece of wood which has been created by the waters here. And it seems I'm not the only nut here. So there's an original and there's the rubber mould. And there's the marbleized, petrified version. And there's a foot, and there's the mold, and the mold being made. And leave it in the waters, have waters run through this mold for a year, and now pops a marble foot. I've seen a few statues that could have this plugged onto it, I can tell you. C'est parce que c'est pour rappeler que les premiers moulages qui étaient fabriqués autrefois. Oui, au Japon, en Hokkaido. Et là. Pardon. Attention, là. Et ça, c'est où 
the petrification takes place. And these moulds, for example, take about a year to form. Okay, that's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. So there's a mould with the water constantly running over it for about a year. Mr. Papon climbs up these ladders and rotates these items to make sure they get evenly encrusted. Well, I've got to say, if you're in central France, you've got to come see this place. And it's very beautiful around here too, very, very beautiful. And as you probably saw early on in the video, there's a fabulous castle here too. So it's also the center of cheese in France, Saint Nectaire, famous cheese. So if you like cheese, you like history, you like castles, you like treasure, you like fantastic places, you like caves, this is the place to come. <laughs>